I've got a hard nut to crack, a driving instructor. I've got a brand spanking new Renault Zoe, one of the smallest and cheapest EVs to tempt him to make the switch. He's called Alan, and here he is. Now then, Alan. Oh, I feel like an instructor. Now, what do you think about the interior? Um, quite plush. The info system looks good. Nice, comfy seats. Hopefully the pupils would feel the same. Yeah, <laughs> right. Wheels away then, I think. So do you need some instruction, Alan? I do. You do? I do. I do. <laughs> I'm not qualified. I do, well... Just press the button. Yeah, I've never... Uh, there we go. You're on. There we go. There's no key. Yes. Yeah. Parking brake is on. Parking brake's on. No, it's on. That old lack of an engine sound never fails to fox. The Zoe is around 10 grand more than Alan's company usually pays for a car. I'm going to sell him on the novel one pedal way of driving. With the brake regen setting on high, lifting off the throttle really slows the car down. Alan loves it. Wow. That was awesome. That was, that was just like putting your foot on the brake. That was really, really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Really? And yeah, I do like that a lot. You know, with students, they're, one of their favourite things to do is come up to a junction, push the clutch down, lose that engine brake oh, in, yeah. and it can get quite unnerving. But that is absolutely lovely. I thought that was brilliant. Because it's an electric vehicle, Alan knows this car is automatic. Manual cars are usual for instructors, but within three years, EVs are predicted to outsell petrol and hybrid cars. So the battery on this Zoe is a 52 kilowatt hour battery, which could give you 238 miles of traveling. So what's the minimum and the maximum miles that you could do in a day? A minimum, I would say, would be around about 100 to 150 miles. On a busy day, I could do 250 miles. OK, so it could be touch and go. Yeah. Another headache is that Alan isn't allowed to install a charger at home. Some councils will allow you to request street charging, but it might take a while. Well, some good news is that you could pull up at the roadside at a special recharging service area, have a coffee, and in 30 minutes you could get 90 miles of range. Is that something that you could fit into your working day? It, it could be done if you were, say, say, doing a lesson in the town. You know, being rural, rural instructors tend to pick up rural clients, so therefore that could be the issue. You're not going to want to drive into Bristol just to go and charge the batteries up. So, charging in the day would disrupt Alan's business and he isn't able to install a home charger because his landlord won't give him permission yet. How about money? Can I win him back on the savings? Let's talk nitty-gritty costs. Running this car could save you £3,000 a year and depending on your tax bracket and benefit in kind with company car issues, etc., that could be boosted to five grand in total. Is that tempting? Yes. Oh. Yes, it. Yeah, and money does talk. Oh, Alan, things are looking good. Very, very <laughs> surprised. Very, very surprised. In fact, Alan's company could save the additional cost on a Zoe in just two years. And from that point on, he would have a quieter, smoother car to work from. As our driving instructor professionally reverses into this space, I wonder if I've done a good enough sales job. Keeping an eye on the car in my left mirror, and I'm going to straighten the steering up and just drop it back in, in a straight line, keeping a look around. That car's moving, so I'll stop. So parking sensors that are going off, good or bad? They're going off, but they're not on that continuous beat, and I'm just having a glance in the camera, not relying on the camera. Tuck the front back in, and how is that? Perfect. It's time to get Alan's verdict. Will his next car be an EV or not? I like it. I don't think it's practical for me at the moment. Um, but, but, but I think with, with the, the company business being based in town, I think there could be a possibility in the very near future that it could be opened up. So a half win? About a half win, yeah. <laughs> So I'm taking that as two and a half yeses out of a possible three. 
I set out to see whether the numbers, logic and some nice EVs would make it a clear case for non-EV believers. And on the whole, they did. As prices fall, charging times reduce, the number of home chargers grow and ranges increase, going EV will no longer be a leap of faith.